Hi everyone, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. Today I'm going to use the spring bundle from J. Flynn Designs to do some plan with me's. I want to do a daily for today and a weekly um, for the week coming up. So I want to show you how we can use the same kit and make two totally different spreads. I have no idea how we're going to do it, but I'm pretty sure it's possible. We've got lots of date stickers here and we've got all the number dots. There's some great um, little functional reminders and some cute pastel um, elements that we can use. So I'm using the Jewel Tone Kiss Planner for my February planning. Today's background color is this dark purple. The weekly background is this dark pink. They're both gorgeous. You can see I had blue for yesterday, turquoise or teal. Um, so part of the fun with these colored kiss planners is it kind of motivates me or inspires me for the stickers that I'm going to use that day because I got to try and match them. And if I absolutely can't match them, then I put a background on and just cover it up. But we're going to, I think both the pink and purple will be fun with that pastel bundle because it'll make those pastels kind of pop. I'm going to use the pastel covers from Pink Punch Studios um, to on both pages. So I need the purple cover for today. Let's paste that in nice and big and centered. And then we need a pink one for tomorrow. Or sorry, for my weekly. Same thing, nice, big, and centered. These kits uh, come with all the different colors in the palette of covers. Open, closed, the little tabs, and you get your fill paper. You can also purchase um, a fill paper kit that has different colors. But because we've got so many colors in the bundle that we're using, I'm just going to go with a nice white background. And we'll put that down. We don't need that anymore. I still have the fill paper on my clipboard so I can paste it again. And we'll line that up. There we go. So let's get started on the weekly. It is Sunday. It is Super Bowl. Super Bowl. <laughs> That's why I'm down here hiding. Um, I don't want to watch Super Bowl with Mike. So I'm going to do my planning, do my nails, and hide out downstairs. He's a little bit sad because normally he does Super Bowl parties or a big pub thing with all his buddies and due to COVID, he is stuck at home by himself. Let's just turn the Wi-Fi off so we don't get interrupted. All right, I'm just looking at the stickers, kind of getting some ideas for what I'm going to do. The clipboards are really cute. I could use those for my wins and gratitude. But there's some really cute boxes here as well. The torn paper. Hmm. Okay, well this one's easy. Let's grab the to-do. Because I always have the four main things on my page. I have my to-do list for the day. I have my wins, my gratitude and my daily checklist. So I've already pulled my daily checklist out of Procreate. I've got it all ready for this video so you guys don't have to watch me hunt around. It is sunny today. It's beautiful outside. I'm very excited about that because we have had a lot of rain. These little jars are pretty cute. We could use those for the winds and gratitude. Let's see how they look. They might be too light. Yeah. Let's try something else. The post-its are nice. Oh yeah, I like the post-its. They go with that purple background that we've got going on. So 
I just lined them on top of each other to make sure that I've got them about the same size since I dropped them before I resized them. I don't know if you saw, but today's a double feature, so I've got two videos for you. I showed you how to make some stickers in Procreate. So I've already got the stickers um, that I've made in the earlier video in my camera roll. So I brought it in. You can see the out the border's too big, so I'm just going to crop it down because I haven't done that yet. So I'll do that when I put it into a proper sticker book. Not sure if this one's going to let me. Can I line it up? Oh, that's pretty close. Might not work. I might have to stick with the font that's there. Nah, it'll be alright. So I have gratitude. Let's crop it down. So you know what, put these little notes, I wonder if I can line it up along the bottom. Just to give it a different look. So I want my stickers to be the same size, so I'm just going to stack them on top of each other to make sure the eyes, the letter I is in both words, so I'm going to make my eyes the same size roughly. Right. So we have wins, gratitude, to do, and the checklist. We need our date. Today is Sunday. Oh, I got too many stickers there. So one nice thing about keeping my daily fairly consistent is I can get it done really quickly. I don't have to spend a ton of time making my daily because sometimes I'm busy during the week and I need to just throw one together quickly okay to do what have we got to do today actually you know what I've got let's stick with the same font it was called koala something koala I think you see koala Darn, I forget what it was called. I don't want to spend forever hunting for it. It was something koala, but I can't remember the first word. So, we'll just stick with my usual Eagle Hoff. Um, today, I have plan with me. Move that into position. I always do my nails on Sundays. Although this mani is pretty cute. I've really enjoyed it this week. It's nice and bright and colorful. Some little hearts for Valentine's Day. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do today. I feel like maybe red and gold. As soon as I get this video done. Uh, laundry. always do my laundry on Sundays and I pick Tyler up look at that I actually have things to do today yesterday I did nothing I knitted all day it was fantastic. All right, now we can pull some of these stickers in. So I want to focus on the purple stickers because I've got the purple planner and the purple background. 
So the tree's pretty cute. Just trying to decide if I want the checklist on top. But I think I want to make the tree just a bit smaller because I like that the dotted line underneath it. I don't want to lose that. So we've got a cute little tree. There's some this flower has got some nice purple on it. Again, I'm grabbing as much purple as I can from the kit. It's one of the tricks I like to do um, when I'm trying to use a kit uh, to its most, what's the word? I don't know. I will grab all the stickers of one color so that, or potential, that's the word, to its biggest potential. Um, I'll grab like all the purple colors stickers for this page and then we'll focus on the pink ones for the next page and we'll be able to get two really noticeably different spreads out of the same kit. Hopefully that's the goal. So we got some cute little birdies here. I want them a little bit on the bigger side so you can see they've got some really pretty detail in there. make them as big as we can. Let me zoom in so you can see it's got like this kind of scrappy textured background. It's really pretty. Doesn't look as good zoomed in as it, <laughs> as it does zoomed out, but you get the idea. I think I want to swap them and put this guy up here. else can we stick on our page? Oh, look at these little purple cupcakes are cute. I made brownies this weekend. Oh my goodness. I found this recipe when I was scrolling Facebook and it's... We've got too much going on with the... Let's stick with the nature stuff. Anyway, the brownies. You take... You make a batch of brownie batter put it in your pan and then you press Oreo cookies into the batter. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I think I need to put Oreo cookies in like everything I make from now on. So worth it. I'm gonna grab this other little birdie here. We'll stick him on our page too. Maybe we'll put him on this side. He could go on our tree. go. The big bird in the tree. So I don't drink coffee, but coffee before talkie is a pretty adorable sticker. I'm trying to think what other decorative stickers we can put on this spread. The little flags, which are really cute. Then I need to move everything around though. I think it's worth it. So these flags, I haven't done it in a while. Pretty sure I haven't done it in a video, but they're really fun to stack. And you can bring them all in at different sizes. Oh, we got a little journal there too. So you can see you can stack all the different little flags and we'll put a patterned one on top and it makes a nice effect. This one's over the top of my page a little so I'm just going to shift it down. 
So we have a little stack of flags there and it fills that corner in really nicely with a bit of color. So I think we're good there. I'm gonna now grab my whole journal that, or planner page that we made, resize, put my little tilt on it. No, I haven't tilted this way in a while. Let's do that. There we go. And I'm gonna go into my pink punch folder and grab some desk stuff. So I love the diamond pens. Did you see yesterday or Friday's releases? There is some really cute new pens. We'll talk about those on the next video. That's not gonna work. Let's find a pastel one. So we need it to stand out on the page. Oh, perfect. Look at that matching, beautiful. What else do I have? I don't think I have a lot of pastel purple. Because the mermaid stuff is really pretty. Oh, look at that. Here we go. I have the desk accessories. I forgot all about them. It's perfect. So I will link this kit in the description as well, in case you need to find it. So I'm going to use the binder clip and make it look like this little checklist is a separate piece of paper that we've just sort of stuck on the page. There's the transparent tape. I'm going to use that to make it look like we've taped this piece down. I love that transparent tape. It has such a realistic look. Sequins are always fun. They'll just pop against that dark purple background. Hmm. All right, I need like some decor now. I think I'm gonna go with a lamp. The white lamp up here. I like the transparent part of that little dome. I think it's fun. We'll move the sequins in underneath a little bit. Oh, so much fun. All right. Now I need something for the other corner. We could go plant with some flowers. Right, there we go. So we've got our weekly spread in the Pink Punch Planner using the Spring Bundle Kit from J. Flynn Designs. And it's very purpley and blue and super cute. So now we'll hop over to our pink page and we will set up a weekly spread. I recently found a new designer and I'll do a longer plan with me with her stuff in an upcoming video, maybe next week. KAB Digitals. She has some templates, so I thought maybe we could play with them. So with this bundle, you get all these different templates. You can see they're really neat. Like some of them are a very different setup than what you'd expect. I really like the quadrant styles, but this is a little different from what I normally use. All right, I got too many things open. So now, bear with me, I have not tried pasting these into my Kiss Planner. They're not transparent. So I'm not sure if it's going to have a nice effect. We might have to do some cropping. How does that look? Okay. 
kind of takes away that realistic shading. So I think You know what? It's not working for me. We'll do some KB next week when I can plan ahead a little bit better. Um, but that's your your little nudge for next week's video. We're gonna look at her sticker. She's got some super cute stuff. Um, I think instead I'm gonna pull out these little clipboards and we'll make our own quadrant. I'm just gonna go to the next page that's blank and position these. So there we go, we'll have our seven days of the week. I'm gonna grab all of these together and we'll resize them onto our page. just need to move over a little. All right. Love it. Okay. The clipboards have a really nice um, top here with this gray clip. So I think I'll put my days in there. So I lined the Wednesday up for what fits best. Because it's the biggest sticker. So I always line that one up to make sure it fits. And then I move everything in. Because if Wednesday fits, so will the rest. Usually, Friday's a little big. We're gonna shrink that down. Okay, uh, tomorrow's the eighth, so we need eight through 14. We're going to stick with the pinker stickers from this kit. Now I could put them on there, but I think what I'm going to do is put them in the bottom corner. Yeah. So I've resized them all together so they're the same size. And now I've got my image tool selected and I'm just going to drag them over. Right, so now we have our tem template set up. We can start using some of the other stickers and do some decorating. I really like this pattern. Right. I purchased the mini calendars from Creative Design Joy. They come in black and white. I think black's going to look the best on that little planner. I've been using these a lot in my weekly spreads. I think they're pretty fantastic. There we go. So we've got the month, 
we've got our little grid and now we can decorate. So I didn't use the cupcakes on the other spread. I saved them for this one. So let's get some cupcakes going on here. Yeah, this one um, contrasts better, so I'm going to put it on top. The purple blended in too much with that background. These hearts are really cute, and same with these little um, pennants. So I'm staying away from the purple a little bit more on this spread. We used it a lot on the last spread. We'll just decorate some of the boxes a little, kind of random. Oh, that's Valentine's Day. I think I might keep this one all pink. So now this is the fun of this kit. This is what I've been excited for. Because look, there is a maid service sticker. Um, Diane was kind enough to point that out because I'm always looking for one in these when I'm doing my weeklies in these videos. So the housekeeper is coming tomorrow. And there's even a change sheet sticker. And I'm really lucky the housekeeper changes my sheets, but I have to wash them. So we're going to put that on here too. To remind me. We do laundry on Sundays and yes I'll even I'll still do one at least one load even though it's Valentine's Day and garbage day is on Tuesday. Here we go. There are some really great stickers in this kit. I am loving it. Let's grab this cute little heart. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do instead. We'll put a different heart on for Valentine's Day. I want the laundry sticker on top of those little rays. So I just did a quick cut and paste so my layering is the way that I want it. So what can we do for decorating? I've got the cupcakes and the hearts. I've already used the kind of more outdoor nature stuff. I can pretend this coffee cup is a tea. So it's got that pretty texture that I just love. These circles are pretty too, but I think, I think I've got nowhere to put them. So I'm literally just grabbing all the pretty elements now and filling in the white space. Do I like Cupid's arrow on our little heart? <laughs> Love it. Weekend banner is super pretty. All right, so we've decorated our spread. You can see it's got a different look from the daily that we did, even though it's the exact same kit. So that's kind of the fun way that you can get the most out of your kits. Um, Cause there's usually 
different patterns or colors that you can kind of isolate in one spread or the other. Okay, so now we'll quickly decorate our edges. So this time we've got pink and it's pastel pink, not the rose gold. Oh, but it's Valentine's Day. I wonder if this will be too much to add these in. They are kind of fun. We can use the new Valentine decor kit. I wonder how clashy a glass of red wine would be with this pink background. Oh, look at that. I kind of like it. I actually prefer sangria to red wine, so let's pretend that that's sangria. So I don't usually mix red and pink, but it's Valentine's Day. I feel like we can get away with it. Let's see. So I like having the leaf kind of overlap the page a little bit. I think it adds some realism to it. Hmm. We need just a little bit more right here. We could do some of these rose petals. Like they fell off of our Rose. Might as well just em totally embrace the whole red and pink. What do you think? Yeah, I think that might be pushing it. You know what? I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm liking it. Okay, so we have our weekly spread and our daily spread using the Spring Bundle Collection from J Flynn Designs. I will link it in the description along with a couple of the print punch kits that I've used and the planner. So we are done. That wraps up my double feature for you today. I'll get these uploaded onto YouTube as quickly as I can. And I will see you on Thursday where we will talk about the new releases from Pink Punch Studio that came out on Friday. So. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I'll see you in a few days. Um, make sure you check out the description, like, subscribe, all those good things, and I'll see you soon. Bye!